what's going on guys this is games on welcome to my channel so we now have some more information regarding the huge update that is coming out for diablo immortal and before that i want to cover the previous blog post that came out regarding the launch of diablo 4 and the anniversary for diablo immortal so what we can expect around that time is there is going to be a little themed cosmetic coming our way in diablo immortal there is also going to be a new zone and new class most likely this is going to happen i mean the new zone and class is going to happen after the anniversary of diablo immortal but at the launch anniversary i mean at the launch day of diablo 4 and the anniversary of diablo immortal we are most likely going to see shava coming our way in diablo immortal as a raid boss and data mine arpg has confirmed that he will have all his attacks from the diablo 4 also he mentioned that this is most likely going to be a limited time event so make sure that you guys do not miss uh, defeating Chava because these rewards might be unique or maybe I really cannot say but the reward should be good if he is, is making his way to Diablo Immortal then what we can expect at the time of Battle Pass 14 there is going to be a children of lilith battle pass so the theme is related is going to be related to lilith that we will see in diablo immortal among with that we are going to see hatred heritage phantom market which will be making its way again to diablo immortal at the same time of battle pass 14 so there is going to be one theme which everyone is going to get uh, a little bit cosmetic and then there is going to be a premi premium cosmetic which will also be related to Lilith theme and that is going to be inside the phantom market for around 170 dollars and it says it is most likely going to be happen in early june then it says here we are going to see a cradle of the sanctuary a new zone going to happen and it is going to happen in mid june you embark on the next chapter so there is going to be a new quest line new pvp zone event side quest bounties enemy ties along the way and i can pretty much tell that we will be seeing new paragon caps new paragon trees going to happen and with that there is also going to happen is new upgrade levels to our gears because uh data mine arpg also confirmed that there are going to be six or five new raid bosses making its way very soon to diablo immortal and then here we are going to see finally a new class blood knight i think they have changed the name of blood knight to something else i really don't remember but he is also going to make his way in july <laughs> yep he is going to make his way in july so the next class is not happening at the launch i mean at the anniversary of diablo immortal here it says that we can't wait for you to assume this new fantasy in july so we right now is my and then making some connection to the new blog post that just came out we are going to get the new uh event that is going to happen for almost until the end of july 16 so what we are going to see we are going to get is dreadful grimage limited time event which is going to last till july 16 and that is what i am guessing when we unlock the new class at july 16 and along with that we will get a new zone as well so in this event what we are getting is you you your travels have taken you to the ruins of once magnific 
Then chapel after stepping inside so basically I guess the zone will come early and the class will come later the handful of demon rush through the shadows weapon ready and take a swing at you through a flurry of expertly placed counter strike you send the minions of hell crashing to the ground lifeless catching your breath blah 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 so what's going to happen on from june 1 at 1 am august till august 2 okay server time you can complete a challenge for each window and the statue doing so will purify that object earning you long forgotten rewards and vision for telling sanctuary future which will be for the new class that is my guess so the leftmost window challenge become available to complete starting on June 1. Defeat 10 elite enemies, okay. <laughs> That's super easy. Then what's the next challenge is on June 8th. Is, so these challenges are going to happen every single week. So June 8th server time defeat Shava. So my guess was right, Shava is going to happen on the anniversary and the launch of Diablo 4 defeat shava once so we have to defeat shava once on june 8 so basically shava will be making his way to diablo immortal on june 2 or maybe he will be unlocked at june 8 and that is when we have to defeat him then the near right window challenge become available to channel to complete starting on june 15 server time complete the challenge rift very easy and uh, june 28 am server time defeat any heli query boss on any level all right when it says that defeat any heli query boss and uh, they do not mention shava as heli query boss then you know what it means that I guess Shava is going to appear in open world in the new zone as a world great boss that is what my guess is so we might be seeing the new zone early and all of these events are going to be related to that chapter which will be find which will be found inside that new zone so that is what my guess is now the statue was all, all right on july 17th we the server time complete a brand new event all right there is another brand new event which they do not mention i'm sure that is going to be related to the new class purify each object will earn you following rewards two star legendary gem mystery portrait frame which will stick with us i guess one legendary quest mystery emoji purify all windows and the statue mystery one legendary gem two legendary gem armor cosmetic armor cosmetic so that's new we will be getting armor cosmetic weapon cosmetic and portal cosmetic purify all windows and the statue so make sure that you actually do that and you will get that for free because they do not mention anything regarding the orbs or real money here so do not miss that then we are seeing the uh limited time events which already happened all claims on deck it was a really nice event hungering moon making its way again shady stock is the all right event which i like and uh, it should happen a lot as well feature updates some changes to the dash control calibration for mobile hell difficulty switch setting has been changed now you can change hell difficulty from any zone you really don't have to go back to the west march anymore and charm destruction option has been removed for some reason i don't understand why battle pass legendary item rewards now you will have a higher chance of getting a legendary essence which you do not have at the moment so that's a good one and with that this is pretty much done so 
at the end of july 17 is when we will get ourselves a new class and a lot of stuff will be happening before that so yeah this is it for the video and i will see you guys in my next one so a lot of stuff will be happening and i will be covering everything until then take care have fun and bye guys